Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And now that the Android O beta is out, somebody actually took the launcher and made it available on any device running Android 6.0, Marshmallow, and above. I will post the download links all in the description below. But anyways, I wanna do a quick overview of the launcher and also give a couple quick tips uh, to kind of theme your device as well. Now to begin, I do have the Google Pixel XL right here, which is running the Android O beta at the moment. And on my Galaxy S8 Plus, which is running that Android O beta launcher. Now you see, very similar. One difference is that you're gonna notice that you will not get the swipe over to Google Now cards. That's more so embedded uh, into the OS. So you see, you do not have that. However, you do have the working uh, Google search button right there. And then of course, if you tap in the upper right-hand corner here, you do get to weather very quickly. And neither of those you can move. That is just part of the launcher. Also, very quick side note. You'll notice that the back home and recent buttons are the exact same style on the Galaxy S8 Plus. There's actually a way to uh, install this only if you have a Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. I'll link to it down below, but do not install it if you don't have one of those two devices. It's also worth noting that normally you'd have launcher shortcuts, so pressing and holding on an app will bring up some shortcuts such as go to my apps, incognito tab, new tab brings up some contact suggestions. When you do install it on your device, at least on the devices I've installed it, when you press and hold on certain icons, you can only jump into app info or widgets. So that seems to be the trend on all the devices I've installed the Pixel launcher on, which is a little unfortunate. And of course, with the Android O beta, you do now have notification dots, which I talked about in my full review, where if you press and hold on an icon, it will bring up a notification and you can swipe away or tap on it to act upon it as well. And with the Android O launcher, you have a swipe up gesture to get to your launcher. Swipe up from anywhere, actually. You'll see on any of these home pages, I can just swipe up and it gets to that app drawer here is a list of all of your apps. Now I do wanna make note, you can search for apps up at the top and I also, really quick side note, in the Google keyboard, you can actually go into themes for it and select custom theme. You can select any image whatsoever, hit next and just change the brightness all the way down to 0% and that's how you can get a completely black keyboard for your uh, Google keyboard, which is nice to have if you have an AMOLED screen. Pressing and holding on the home screen, you can go ahead and jump into settings where you can turn app suggestions on and off, add icon to home screen once you install it, display Google app and allow home screen rotation and change icon shape. I couldn't necessarily get it to work on the Galaxy S8. It may or may not work on your device. Just drop a comment, let me know if it does work on yours. And then finally, with the Pixel Launcher, you get the Google wallpaper chooser. So you can go ahead and have different art, earth, landscapes, cityscapes, and you can have a daily wallpaper on and off as well. You will need to install a separate APK file. Everything will be linked down below, so don't worry about that. Uh, and you see, of course, it gives you a long, extensive list of some cool wallpapers, which you can go ahead and integrate into this launcher. But overall, that's pretty much it. I have my OnePlus 3T right here, works just fine on there as well. So definitely go ahead and give it a try if you have a device running Android 6.0. Uh, and higher, you can go ahead and install the Android O Pixel Launcher. Shout out to everyone that made these APKs happen. All sources and links down below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Much more uh, coverage to come on Android O. The full beta review will be linked below as well. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.